So I'm testing out a new sort of drip irrigation reservoir idea. Um, my biggest challenge with drip irrigation is when we've got these long rows like we do, is that if I start the drip irrigation down at the front of the row, by the time it gets to the end of the row, there's really nothing coming out because the pressure is reduced so far along the row. So um, what I wanted to do was to try and set up something that was gravity fed that we can later link to our rain harvesting collection system that we have not yet set up. Um, but I just wanted to test um, this little system out first to see if it would work. The system is pretty basic and requires the use of a milk jug and some parts of a drip irrigation kit, which can be bought pretty cheaply on Amazon. They all come with various different pieces. However, for this system, the key piece that you're going to need is one of those self-tapping drip emitters. And if you unscrew the cap, it leaves you with a fitting that you can poke into a milk jug or whatever container you want to use. I did poke a hole first in the jug before putting the tap in as I found it easier to get it through the plastic that way without crumpling the jug. And then after that I attached a long line of irrigation tubing to take the water from the jug to the ground. This is quarter inch tubing which I think is pretty standard for drip irrigation. I secured the jug to my trellis using a cable tie and then it really is as simple as building the system with Lego to set up the drippers. The tubing comes in a long coil, so you can cut it to length as you need it. And because I was setting up one jug to serve four plants, I needed four dripper heads and three T's. As soon as the line hits the ground, you need to insert a T to change direction of the tubing, both to go to the left and to the right. So you then just measure and snip as you go, adding a drip emitter for each plant. The general rule of thumb is that tomato plants need to receive about one and a half to two inches of water per week per square foot of garden soil, which for me, the way that I have my bed set up, works out to about each plant needing three quarts of water per week. So with this jug system I've set up, where one gallon jug serves four plants, that means if each plant is receiving one quart, then I would need to refill the jug every two to three days. I filled this yesterday at about five o'clock. And so um, that would mean that each plant is receiving a quarter of a gallon. Uh, this is being a one gallon jug. I thought the whole thing might leak initially, but it didn't. And you can regulate the speed of the drip in two ways, either by turning the caps on the drip emitters themselves, or you can change the pressure that's inside the jug by how tight or loose you screw the cap on the jug. I'm gonna time how long it takes for me to give each of the tomato plants in this row approximately one quart of water by hand using the hose versus using the drip irrigation. So that's already taken me seven and a half minutes and I probably didn't give each one a quart like I should have done. There was a lot of runoff, so not all of that water got to the plant, which means I probably have to do it again if there's a hot day tomorrow. I still actually have two plants left to go and um, I kind of feel like I could be doing other stuff <laughs> if I had a system in place. So that is why I'm definitely in favor of doing that extra bit of work and setting up a system that will save you time in the long run. 
As you're watching this in real time, it takes 19 seconds to fill a jug. And with seven jugs to fill, I get a whole row watered in just over two minutes, meaning that with this setup, I can now get these three 60 foot rows watered in the same amount of time as it would take me to water one row. Of course, it's not just about the time it saves, but watering this way can conserve water by eliminating runoff. It keeps the soil continually moist and also avoids splashback onto the plants, which can bring about bacterial and fungus problems if the soil gets splashed up onto the leaves. I'm sure I'll have adjustments to make and I'm interested to hear your comments and feedback, especially if you've tried something like this. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.